What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Supreme Draft. As you know, it just started instantly because there's no players in the queue. You don't have to wait. Like, it just happens amazing. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know they start instantly, but a lot of times they'll put you into the lobby instead of just entering you into the queue. Uh, I, I mean, this is my seventh seventh or eighth uh, <laughs> Supreme Draft. I definitely I definitely know how they work, Tom Bomb Man. We're definitely taking Boilerworks and Ogre Savants. And also, I want to tell you guys about NordVPN. NordVPN is a great great service if you guys are looking specifically for a vpn they have a 30-day money-back guarantee uh you get awesome access to region lock content so if there's if there's cool netflix shows in canada you can uh you can direct your vpn to canada you can say oh i'm, a, I'm in a canada server you know things like that um and uh for the first two years a two-year subscription you get 68 percent off it's kind of ridiculous i keep forgetting it but uh 68 percent off and you get one month free so 25 months 68 percent off nordvpn.org slash frank lapore and it's a great way to help the channel so eternal creatures blocking or blocked by no it's either it's either cackling flames which wins us countless games or rakdos i'm gonna take rakdos signet we're gonna just be grixis do you guys think we're gonna stick with the grixis probably not probably not that is not war leaders helix see we're already not grixis anymore we're already four colors again Oh, Tom, no worries at all. But a lot of times when you jump in the queue, like, it doesn't put you into the game. Mutual Barbobbly Boo. Everyone text me and tell me I'm pretty. Can you guys text Michael right now and tell him he's pretty? Uh, World Leaders Helix, I think, is just too good to probably, uh... Just probably pass. I'm sorry. It's just really, really good. And... Other than that, we got Far and Away, which is good. Notion Thief, which is interesting, but I don't know if it's good enough. I'm just going to take Far and Away. I think if you start fresh, it makes you click another button if you go from one draft to another. Oh, it might that might be the case, yeah, because I was already in the room. So, like, if I was out here and I said join, it would probably put me into the room. But if I'm already in the room, I guess. I don't know, it's confusing. It's a confu- Oh, Lightning Helix? You guys are probably like, wait till he sees that lightning helix. Also, Veldalkin and Trancer was a was a a game winning common back in back in regular Ravnica. Like this card, if you can get two of these, like you just mill them out like crazy. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take lightning helix because it's not even close. Now we have two helixes. Please. Whenever Lander's battlefield, we put a one one counter on this guy. So this guy has landfall. This is the OG landfall card. Strands of Undeath also not bad. Gives your creature regenerate. And it makes them discard too. Watch Wolf, pretty sweet. Tempted to just take Entrancer here. Deals one damage to each creature and each player. Eh, there's there's definitely a lot of X1s in this format. Celestia Signet is also an option, even though it's only one of our colors. Oh yeah, I know. I'm aware. I can go over here and see what boosters are opening. Uh, we have Guild Pack Dissension, Dissension, Guild Pack, Guild Pack, Dissension. That's actually a great amount of old school. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six old school packs coming up. That's pretty sweet. We have no more. This is the last original Ravnica pack we're going to see, though. So, so we're not going to get another Entrancer. That's for sure. Interesting. Is that good enough? Well, it's not the last pack we're going to get Signet. Like, we're gonna, there's also Signets in Dissension and Guild Pact. So there's literally six more packs of Signets. I think we're taking Strands of Undeath. I think Strands is good. Man, I really like Basilica Bell Haunt. Spire Mangler. It's a 2-1. Target creature flying gets plus 2 plus 1. It's not great. I don't love it. Swirling Torrent was really good. Put any creature on top of its owner's library and then return a creature to its owner's hand. You just bounce two guys and one of them goes on top. Chillbringer also very, very good. God, Basilica Bellhaunt, is this too hard for our mana? <laughs> My bad, never played these sets back in the day. No, dude, they, it's, it, there's like eight sets in this. Don't even worry about it. It's very, uh, let's like get to the point. And... Nothing is too... I think this might be. You don't want four colors. Like, even Crackling Drake, we only managed to cast it once. I think it's Chillbringer here. Or Swirling Torrent. 
I'm six. It's not really a matter of me being fine, though. It's more a matter of that's really obnoxious and it shouldn't happen. Ah! Stop. This little Gabel haunt turned. Hunter, stop! Thank you. What did it turn into? What did we want? Swirling torrent. Alright. God, Hunter being all out. I'm gonna say we're taking it as its signet, for sure. Like it's gone to a point where I click on it and then I drag it. Like I'm literally trying to like I have to condition myself to like to do it correctly because uh, click on the card and then drag the card. Yeah, that's exactly what I've been doing. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, but like I shouldn't have to. You know what I mean? Like like you said, not that you should have to. Yeah, hundred percent what you're saying. I mean, I just like dragging. Like, that's, that's, like, I shouldn't, again, I, I shouldn't have to, like. Oh, Blood Crypt is nice. Blood Crypt Azorius Signet is nice. So is Wrecking Ball, but, like, I would much rather have fixing that removal here. And three on color Signets is fantastic. Oh, Hypersonic Dragon. I like it. I don't like anything else in this pack, I guess. I guess the explosive impact is fine. I mean, we also have Helix, Lightning Helix, Crack, Cackling Flames. Like, we could literally just burn them out. This is probably, like, closer to three. Yeah, I think this is the only real card in the pack. It is any it is any target, so. You can hit Bounce Lance with Dragon Ball. It's true. That's actually a very good point. Is Underworld Connections good? This pack's also pretty trash. One Guildgate, not our color. Double white flyer. Underworld. Yeah, let's, I mean, Underworld's like not even competing with anything here. My only concern is there's been a lot of games where like my life is very, very close. But we do have Helix, Bell Haunt, and Helix. So ideally we have ways to gain life. God, this package is not impressive. I don't think... I just don't like Shred Freak. I just never want that in my deck. I almost don't hate Security Blockade. Like, it's just... It's actually a 2-2 two -two for, for 3. It's just a 2-2 two -two for 3. But then also, like... The land is prevent the next 1 damage that we dealt to you this turn. I, I think it's actually fine. Mortify. Another Guild Gate. Blade Juggler's good. Guild Gate's good. Mortify's good. Twilight Panther is fine. Um, I mean, we're definitely taking Mortify. Probably Azorius Guildgate. We only have two lands so far. Yeah, I'll take a Guildgate. Oh, dang. Simic, Gil ah. Simic Signet. Guys, please. Get your lives together. Oh, Rakdos Splitter, Sure. Counter all other spells. I mean, this is just five mana dismiss, right? And you're never countering two spells with this. Patagia Viper is great. Squealing Devil is a 2-1 for 2 with fear. When enters battlefield, if you do... Yeah, sure. Um... <laughs> Getting done dirty. Yeah, by the Signet and the Viper. The Viper is so good. I think it's just Azorius first swing, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Time for a walk, maybe. God, they're just getting real. They're getting real rambunctious. No, they just hear any noise outside, and they're like, "Someone's attacking the house! Who is it? Who's in the house?" And I'm just like, guys, it's literally just a dude walking by. Like, come on, seriously. Is it Staticaster? Ooh, Staticaster and Ick Splitter in the same deck. Spitter, Ick Spitter. Cackling Flames. 
ick spitter cackling flames cackling spitter not splitter not crackling stupid oh god they're just using the traits that brought humans to them to begin with they're like yeah let's just do that again I'm gonna take Staticaster for obvious reasons eh, Void Welder's fine it's 5 mana bounces a creature 5 mana for a 1-4 blah Three lands, three signets is pretty good, though. I'm okay with that so far. I mean, this is a one, two, for three that makes a bird. Yeah, songbirds is actually could be fine. I would love to take centaur healer, but again, we have no green. We have no way to support green, and I don't really want to go into green. I actually think mine rot is fine. Oh, wow. Now we get Norzov Signet a second Mortify, or a Blind Hunter, or a Steam Core Weird. Oh, my head just exploded. Fuck. I don't think we want a second Orz. Oh, we don't have a, we don't have an Orzov Signet? I don't think we want a second Mortify. I just think our removal is very, very good already. Let's take Blockade out for now. We have, actually, we have Mind Rot and Strands of Undeath. I kind of like Steam Corbett. I think Steam Corbett is great. Okay, well, I guess we're taking it. I also think Blind Hunter is really good. I think Little Dogs double down. I do too. Little Dogs are always louder than Big Dogs in my experience. I'm going to take Blind Hunter. Blind Hunter, how come your name's so good? Uh, Boros Guild gets probably a necessity here. How good is Murmuring Mystic for us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not great yet. I think it's Boros Guild Gate. Burglar Rat is actually not terrible, it goes well with our plan. Like, Burglar Rats into Mine Run into Strands? Eh, it's not terrible. Uh, Cosmotronic Wave is always very good. This, this card is great in the format. I think it's actually Burglar Rat, though. Like, for our main deck. Tesa Envoy of Ghosts. What do you do? Vigilance pro Protection from Creatures. Whenever a creature deals damage, combat damage to you, destroy that creature, create a 1-1 one, one white and black. This card seems fantastic. Let's play that. Plus we can put Strands of Undeath and have a regenerate? Sure. I'm in. I'm in for it. I like Wear Tear. Wear Tear kills any one of the, the lots of enchantments in the format and also a... Uh, Signet. We also have 24 picks right now, so I'm actually okay with that. I was thinking of, um, like the Ascended Law Mage. I think, I think Wear Tear is actually fine. We'll sideboard a Wear Tear. Second Azorius Guildgate. Pretty decent because it's, it's double white for Basilica Bell Haunt. Hmm. And this pack is not super impressive anyway. Outside of green cards. What does this guy do? 5 for 7 at the beginning of each combat, up to one creature attacks or blocks this combat if able. And up to one target creature can attack or block. Is that guy good? I mean, 7 mana. But, like, we don't have a ton of top end right now. And we have 3 signets. I would love a, another bounce land. What are, our, what are our chances right now? Our last two packs are Dissension and Guild Pact, which are pretty sweet. So, okay, don't leave. Let's take Azorius Guildgate. And I'll just take this guy. I don't think anything else in this pack is very good, so. Okay. No bounce lands. It's unfortunate. And all the best cards are green. Blackcaster Frogling, Assault Zeppelin, Silkwing Scout. <laughs> yeah, this pack's pretty bad. This pack is terrible. I mean, I'm just going to take Assault Zeppelin, I guess. 
Eh, overrule's an option for sure. Macaw Bolts is actually fine. We'll take Macaw Bolts. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is a Gruel Signet and a Stomping Ground. Come on. I mean, another Steam Corvid's fantastic, though. So is Exumer Thrall, actually. So is Shrieking Grotesque. This pack's pretty good, other than, like, the, the lack of lands. One, two, three, four, five. Only five fixing. Ooh. But three Signets, I guess. Hmm. Um, I think Exumer Thrall seems great. Now it's one of these two. It could also be is it Cronarch, to be honest. Cry of Contrition? I mean, like, I, I can see where you're going with that because of our discard theme. I'd just rather have like really strong cards that are two for one. Like Streaking Grotesque is probably better than Castigate or Cry. I am Groat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me with that one. Oh boy. I am Groat. I do appreciate all the, the amount of life gain we have, especially because we have underworld connections here. Like Blind Hunter, Bell Haunt, War Leader's Helix, Lightning Helix. Oh man. It's one of these two. Or is it Cronarch? <laughs> The hardest card in our deck on mana is literally Dang. Basilica Bell Haunt. Everything else is pretty easy. Hossmania with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Austin Thank Floyd you. with two gifted subs? Man, you guys are... You guys are absolute saints. Guys, it's one of these three. Thank I don't you. I don't know which one. I'm leaning towards Cronarch. I'm not super impressed with Grotesque. And Steam Core Weird, we already have one and a ton of removal. So I think I actually just want the Cronarch because it just gets back removal, right? So we'll take Cronarch. Now we need, with only one Boilerworks, we're probably playing 16 lands. So we need three cuts. I'm going to take First Swing out. I'm not super impressed by it. It's only a 2-2 two, two for 2, and like the, the mana cost is like pretty tricky. I'd rather be playing Signets or just like a Burglar Rat on turn 2. I kind of want to take Underworld Connections out because it's double black. I think we can take I think we can take Boros Battle Shaper out. I don't want to take Strands out because we do have kind of a discard theme going. Hmm. I kind of want to take Bell Haunt out to be honest. I think it's just too it's too tricky on the mana. I think I, it might be, I feel like it's, it might be better than Underworld Connections, though. I don't know, Black, Black, Blue, Blue, Black, Black, White, White is pretty bad. It discards as well, sure, but, like, I want to be able to cast it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Well, the problem is you don't really have to cast Bell, Bell Haunt on time. Like, even Bell Haunt on, like, turn 6 is still fine. It's still a 3-4. Gains you 3, makes him discard. Like, it arguably it might even be better at that point because they have fewer cards in hand. And they're like, the, all the cards are going to be better, of a higher quality. 41 is rough only because, like, we're already playing 16 lands. <sighs> Could take, like, Explosive Impact out and just play this guy instead. This deck looks really sweet. Um, <laughs> 40, I didn't even see the glasses on there. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's properties it. Let's check the... I feel like I play green the least. I really enjoy this draft format. Only four blue cards, actually. One, 
two, three, four. This is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Why would it say four? Why would, why would it lie? But why would you lie? All right, so anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six is fine. All right, so we have 14 black. Black is definitely our highest, and we only have one fixing for black and one signet. So it's two, probably four here. Actually, we could, I think we have to take out Belhaunt. I just think it's the correct thing to do. It drops, it drops our black down to 12 and our white down to only 6 with no other double white cards, which I think is good. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing in Modern Horizons. Like, it's going to be weird. Um, okay, so we're down to 1 here. Uh, black, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We probably want 7, but I really don't like 5 swamps. That seems terrible, but we have Underworld Connections. <sighs> anyway... Red, we have three. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can easily go to seven there. White, we have six now. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to six there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's still more black, which puts our black to four, five, six, seven. Seven black. Two, three, four, five, six, seven red. Two, three, four, five, six white. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this actually seems good. We get one more land. Oh boy. Well, geez, I wasn't expecting this. I don't want another. I don't want six swamps. It's just gonna. Oh, we're just gonna draw so many swamps. And, like, the only thing we need double black for is literally Underworld Connections. Like, one one black source is literally just good for the whole deck. It's good for the goose. It's good. For, I think, we, maybe, like, one. So, like, we have white, white, white. I think we just want planes because it's got to be early. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, let's do it. Wastes. Yeah, that's probably what you want. That seems correct. <laughs> you got me. Oh, this is actually great, though. Keep. Um, pitch of Mountain, because it's either two black or two red. I'd rather have two black, so. Man, this cast Static Caster by itself. I like it. Oh, no! Next, so if we play Signet this turn, next turn we can Mind Rot and play Boiler Works. I think that's probably good. Because alternatively, we're just gonna have. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're doing that. Yeah, Mind Rot earlier. Oh, burglar rat. Little burgie rat. Cheeseburger rat. Actually, mind rot's probably better here, right? Like, either way, both cards are going to take a thing, so. This puts it around to five. Burglar rat makes him get rid of another one. Hmm. They were on the draw, so they had to discard a, a, a forest anyway. Did you hear the way I said that? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck.
two spells? Nice. Two, two, four, 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 Oh man. Where's a wrecking ball when you need it? I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Burglar rat. Burglar rat. Put all your cards in your trash can. Yeah. Oh my god, Hunter's chewing his bone. Jesus. Hunter! Hey! It's so loud. Why's I gotta be? It reels their hand and you choose a card from it. That player discards that card. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I guess we're both on the discard plan. I thought a skeleton was tap dancing on a wobbly table. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know what? Sure. This is fine. That's a one for one. I don't even care. Okay. Play some identical tokens, I dare you. Circuitous route. Who cares about that? More like circuitous crap, am I right? <laughs> so Beacon Bolt is going to deal, I assume, two, because this leaves your graveyard and goes on to the stack. Yeah, two other. Okay, that's that's decent. We're just gonna play it. Like obviously they can make us discard the other card, right? But like the thing is it gets a two two body on the board, so You gonna dredge? Oh, I gotta get rid of it again. I mean that's their turn too, like they they're dredging. Leaf Drake Roost is is OP. That card is great. This is an enchant land, and then you can tap a blue and a green and it and the land to create a two two, which is pretty sweet. Break me up. I mean they could just literally nightmare void our entire hand every turn, but then like we still get to draw a card and play a card, so. Oh, they took pillory instead. Do, 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 do. Gain seven, huh? That's pretty good. Yeah, whatever. They have no cards in hand. Why? Why do you use? You always use the. They always use the color I need. Uh, bottom that. They didn't do anything. <gasps> oh, snap. Guys, it's all happening. Oh, I can't do that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's figure this out. Um, I guess it doesn't matter what land I tap. We're, just, we're putting on planes, obviously. Let's keep this. Draw a card. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. We're so good. So good at this game. Love it. 
De plane, boss, de plane. <laughs> wow, that's a solid, uh, jeez, what was that, Fantasy Island? Oh, another one of this guy, huh? Okay. Looks like they just went the gate route. Electronic. Hypersonic. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a million. Do we overpay? Let's draw a card first, right? Blind Hunter. Man, Underworld Connections is insane. I don't know why you guys told me not to take it. I can't tell if our decks are just so much better than our opponent's decks, or if, like... I mean, it might just be because I have a, a lot of Ravnica experience. Like, I draft Ravnica sets, like, ridiculous amounts. So I'm very familiar with, like, the good cards and the bad cards. But, like, I feel like our decks are always just so much better. Like, I just don't think... Like, there's, there's there, there has yet to be a point in our games where I want to play a Simic Ragworm, you know? Or like a devious cover-up. Like these are just cards where I'm just like, I don't ever want to have to play this. Or like two surly gatekeepers. Sure. We're going to put it on this guy because this is the, the guy they're most incentivized to kill. <laughs> okay. So knowing the good cards helps. Uh, yeah, I mean, this part seems to be pick lots of mana fixing and good cards. I Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, we won that game. They gained 14 extra life. Yeah. They have Leaf Drake Roost, so I'm kind of tempted to play Wear Tear. Do we have anything else? We have Mortify. We have Mind Rots. Return a creature to its owner's hand. Could probably take Staticaster out for Wear Tear. We also saw Verdant Haven, so. I think part of the winning comes from just good looks. Buddy. I know it. Uh, keep. Brass monkey. There was two little hair stroking when he said that. <laughs> Listen, Brett, I don't need your I don't need your criticisms, okay? I'm too handsome for that. No, it's okay. I appreciate your criticism. It's constructive. Are you gonna counter this? Oh, you're gonna grow spiral. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> Some growth chamber off a growth spiral is just that's chef's kiss right there. Repeat. 
Repeal my signet. You got it. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. I think repeal signet is pretty... It's not great. Because especially when you have no pressure, it's like, uh, that's fine. I mean, I don't have anything to do, so. Two, five mana, huh? What do you got for five? One, two, three, four. Fuck. See, that's better. See, that's a better play. Yeah. Don't like that. Stomp Howler strong. I don't think Tisk Tisk has eyes in it. I think it's just TSK TSK. Uh, we can, but I don't really want to give this guy regenerate. I guess it doesn't matter because they don't have black mana. So, but they do have it in their deck, right? Like they played black mana game one. They played tons of cards that were. Oh wow, experimental Kraj. Jesus, what is happening right now? Boy, this is. Oh, it's spelled Tusk Tusk, but the U is silent. Yeah, that makes sense. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, they can't use the regen now. Actually, this is yeah, no, this is the card. Yeah, you're right. Actually, because it's on it's on strands of undeath. The creature doesn't get regen. That's a good point. And we do take eight. It's rough. No, sir, I don't like it. <sighs> I wish that was land. Yeah, I think we're just dead to double four power creatures. That's pretty rough. Like, let's say we play Signet into Rat block one. Like, next turn we kill the other and then we still just die. Yeah. Brutal. I kind of like Overruled. It's kind of funny. Um, maybe more than Strands? Like, we have a bunch of good stuff. Pillory, Mortify. Actually, we'll take out the Wear Tear for the Overrule. They kind of do the same thing, but Overrule keep us alive in the late game where Wear Tear is just going to be a blank. Oh, that's not good. That's worse. Wow. 16 lands, 3 signets. Let's... Okay. Let's go to 5. Let's keep this. Beautiful. Keep Ship and Island because we already have a Guild Gate. Oh, we have to be shipped two cards, because that's the way magic works. Holy smokes. It's Whirlier's Helix. I think it's I think it's Helix here. No, it's gotta be Blind Hunter. That's just a creature right now, so. Like, I'd rather have the removal or the... I think Mind Rot on... Well, they mold a six, so. Seven drop. Would have definitely put that on the bottom and kept the Blind Hunter. Given the chance. Okay. Let's even it up a little bit. Now it's like we both mold to five. They missed the land drop. So did we. <laughs> wow, the fucking perfect land. Jesus. Decent land. I like it. Well, the fact that the problem is they hit like two lands. Now they have four mana instead of two. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> Blind Hunter with the glasses on. <laughs> Love it. Okay, well. Well, we're just sitting here with a really bomby hand. Look at this, like, 5, 9, 12 damage. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, four, two, three, four 6, and 7 in hand. Urban Utopia. Well, I don't care about that at all. I don't even. I don't want to bounce this, but oh, we can't actually play this guy anyway. So, yeah, that's fine. Wow. That's something. Sure. Hilarious. Yep. Boy, they're really cycling through their deck here. They have drawn six more cards than we have. I wonder if I just go face and just try to kill them. No, they have the guys who gain like 7 life, so... That does not seem like an ideal play. God, do I even bounce this guy? Like, it just lets them draw another card? I think we're just passing here. I also just don't want to put Ogre someone on the board when they have 6 cards. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem great. I really actually don't know how we're going to win this game, to be honest. Well, we don't have to spend blue, it's true, but I just don't think I just don't think a 3-2 for 5 is like impactful enough. Maybe it is. I mean, if they play something here, we can just bounce it, which would be super nice. Yeah, all right. That'll do, pig. So next time we can... like It just forces them to respend their mana on that guy. Go, go, Power Rangers! Is it coming... Crash coming down again? Oh, Blast of Genius. Okay. Blast of Genius, real good. They're just gonna have to discard a card, too. I guess they can... Did they play a land this turn? Arrows of Justice. Oh. That's a weird choice because now you got a discard spell. Island, mountain. Okay. And there goes the mountain. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, one, two, three. We have six man. I'm just gonna pass here. I mean, if we get to play Tessa and then put Strands of Undeath on her, like, that's pretty good, right?
that is a concern. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. All right, well, fingers crossed this survives one turn. Fingers crossed. Oh, this also kills these if they attack. Oh, they're going to just get killed, Tesa. Fuck. <sighs> cool. That was fun. This is a good this is a good game. What do any of these cards do? Yeah, we do, but they also have the card that gains them seven life when they have two gates. Although they don't have two gates right now. It might be time to start shooting. So anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to be... Like this, I don't think this game would be close if they didn't have Leaf Drake Roost. The card is just bananas. <sighs> Should have kept in the wear tear, stupid. I mean, if we could draw Mortify to kill it, they still have three two twos, which is the problem. That doesn't trigger, though, right? Okay. Boiler works. Hmm. All right, well, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they go to six. This is rough. We can helix away a token, but that doesn't do anything. We've also just committed to warlords helixing their face. So, like... I'm kind of on the burn train right now. Because I don't think we we can't we can't mitigate the the flyers like it's just it's not a thing we can do. Oh, Helix and away a token. I get you. I thought, I, I thought you said Helix away a token. I was like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. <laughs> I 
And we still take one, two, three, four, five, seven. We still go to five here, and like we're pretty much dead, right? Yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Oh well. 2-1 two, two, is what we're trying for, I guess. God, it's funny. I don't even think they're... Like, like this is like the best card in your deck. And they have two gates now. Yep, okay. That's all I need to see. Yep. That was like game one. I thought that was round two. Jeez. It felt like losing two rounds. Yeah, because we're just like getting... Smashed in the face by a stupid... Like, they had the answer for taste. Like, if they didn't have the answer for taste, then we just get to go strands of undeath. Like, it's... Really good. Fashionably... On time, I guess. Oh, I like that. See, that's that's nice. That was a pro gamer move. Look at this 3 2. Look at this 3 2 idiot. Well, nothing in our hand is great against this guy, unfortunately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can just play Chronarch to block. <laughs> the bounce land is neither late nor early. It arrives precisely when it needs to. You got it. Why can't Staticaster be an 0-4? Or deal 2 damage. I'll take either of these. We have so much removal in our deck and we're just drawing nothing here. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's got to be done. Okay, so next time we can Chronarch this back. Actually, that's pretty good. Give him the CAC. I gave him. I gave him the CAC. I will take a thousand. Fuck me. <sighs> cool. I roll. Neat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's only plus five, plus five, and double strike. Why didn't you play around that, you stupid idiot? Oh, man. If only I saw that coming. 
My skill level isn't high enough. I didn't believe in the heart of the cards enough. Wow, well, I was like, oh cool, we're stabilizing. Next time we get to play Chronarch, we can do this thing. No, I'm just kidding. So we can't play Guildgate and play Expitter, unfortunately. Uh, I guess that's fine. Well, I actually had to play around the two cards, the plus four, plus four, and the plus one, plus one, and double strike, so. Man. I, I really should have had more respect for the shitty 3-2 for 4. <laughs> That's my bad. Well, I like that. Okay, now we can Helix something. And then Kronark it back? Yeah, that's all I want to do. All I want to do is Helix. What up, old Porta? I got Helix. I'm not the oh, that's good. The old turn 4, turn 4 trans guild promenade. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. I see how you're going to be. Whatever, I ain't playing around. So we got three cards to three cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And next we can go land Helix Crackling Flames. Cackling Flames, you stupid idiot. Whenever a lander is battlefield, untap it. Untap. What the fuck? That card's terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cackling. Cackling. I can't. I'll never get it. I'll never get it right. It's always cackling flames and Nick Splitter. I don't understand it. You're not giving him the crack. You're giving him the cack. God, if only you were more wrong. But you're not. You're not at all wrong, and that's... Yeah, alright, you got it. In, in response, I'll untap a land. I'll untap it to untap another land. Now you're just going to attack? Okay. They got their, they got their clue stone up. Okay. Oh, okay. I see you, Wizard Boilerworks. They didn't even care that time. And they didn't crack their clue stone EOT, which is kind of weird, because they have a lot of mana. Before that land, they had three, four, five, six, seven mana sources, so. You know. Man, this thing is getting the beats on. I just don't care enough to pillory that thing. Like, I'll take one for a million turns. If you want to drudge beetle onto it, then I can kill it in response. But, like, you have a lot bigger creatures that I need to deal with. Like that. Old Swiney is going to get in the pillory. That's a picture I want you guys to see. Oh, and I get to play Blind Hunter? Hmm, how special. Two, three, Pelorios. And we get to keep up Lightning Helix. That's cool. Is this the deck with the uh, the Chemistry Insight? I don't think so. We did not win the first match. Our opponent got Leaf Drake Roost. 
and then nothing else. So what can you do? I am going to play the land, though, because I want to get as close as I can to Hellbent for the Cackling Flames. Cackling Flames, I said it correctly. It felt good. I don't always yield to that. I hope you guys are proud. Did I make you proud, Paul? Oh, Paul. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, look at this fat idiot. See, this is why we want that, that cackling flames. Are you proud, Paul? You got reach, though? Dang. Why would it be reaching? That is a chonk spider, buddy. Chonk spider, buddy. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. So this is 6. So if we draw anything that costs 4 or less, or a land, we can do both. That's actually literally what I was hoping to draw. One, two. Envoy. <laughs> Let's get in there with this guy. Just kidding. Maybe we could, and then it actually lightning helix it. I did not expect the Sunny D meme to turn evergreen, buddy. It has been stuck in my... I see. It has been stuck in my head for years. Years, you see. Scavenge? You're just casting this guy. Okay. Sure. God, did they never... Did they ever not have an answer for Tesa? No. What is this? If we crack into them, it's too... Oh, they didn't come, they didn't come at us. This is 8 damage. Oh, we're, they're just dead. 5, 6, 7, 8. And then another... What, this, is, this, is just, this is just lethal, right? 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 13 in hand. Sure. But it's only a year old! No. It's, it's timeless. You're being silly right now. And that's okay. Oh, you're going to drudge onto that guy? Plus two, plus two? No, oh, that's cool, man. Hey, man, that's cool. Hey, that's super cool. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what if they have... No, they can't have that, right? Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, so 13. They can go 13. No blocks. Do it to your face one time. <laughs> do it again. Do it do humbo. Cackling flames your face. Dealing lots of damage. I have no cards in my hand now. This is, what, this is how it feels to get double struck out of the game like you did last time, you little biscuit. I don't know what's going on. It's not good, it's not going to look at my other card. <sighs> Basilica Bell Haunt feels so good. Overrule feels good because they have a bunch of nerds. I kind of like Overrule here. These have not been good Staticaster matches. Oh, they do have those guys. They do have the, the O2s. Maybe that guy's better than Ixpitter. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Do it. 
do it to me one more time. Man, all I get out of life is mostly stupid jingles, so. You're not wrong. This is a snap keep. And they went to six on the play? Shoot. Buddy. Do 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 do. I mean, any bounce land like just such it's such a good demulliganer. Easy, easy game, easy life. Happy game, happy wife. Like you do. And of course they have one. Rich get richer, guys. The rich get richer. Hold on one second, just gotta open something. Make sure it's on the right side. Okay. Bring it back. Oh, double signet? <laughs> what is a supreme draft? Got him. Got him covered, that is. Three, two, whenever it attacks, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to kill that. probably going to use Cackling Flames. Like, it's most of the time in this early game going to be 3 damage, whereas this is always going to be 4 damage, so. Yep. Oh, wow. This is wonderful. Giant growth. Oh, it just we just get to eat it and the counter. That's wild. Huh. <laughs> I eat my words, I guess. I mean, they're they're also missed like several land drops, like three literal three land drops. I want to take this because if they do have Gorkland Rampager, I don't want to, like, get blown out in combat. That doesn't get anything back yet, so we're just going to hold on to it. Um... God, don't blow me out here. I don't know what they... They can't have Annihilating Fire, which is nice. I don't think there's that many cards for three mana that can actually kill this. Especially with only one red. Nice. Got rid of a petrified woodkin and a Golgari decoy.
Just gonna keep passing. I'm, there's no way I'm playing Exhumer Thrall without a creature. Like... Okay, they still haven't hit a land, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, that guy's gotta die. Oh, boy. Um, no, it's gotta be this, right? Okay, if we're gonna play this, we don't actually need to do it now. We can wait to see if we get a better thing. What did they kill us with last time? Inescapable Blaze? Hmm. I mean, it's gotta be the play. Because we also have Exhumer Thrall, so... I'm less concerned. Now they have five mana. Yeah, that's fine. That's a 6-4, good buddy. Alright, let's get in there with a big taster. Have a taste of this. Have a taste of my cag. <laughs> okay, that was too far. It's a bridge too far, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda just wanna kill this now because we know they have pump spells. So. <laughs> and we have double, we have double regenerate up for Static Caster. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This guy's got haste. Come at me, bro. I'll block. Dang it. But they did not come at me. So they did have Gore Clan Rampager. What a best Corbett. Scorbit. Uh, I, how much did Rashad and Port drop by? I mean, it's been reprinted a lot. A bit. Okay, so this is four. And there's a million. So it puts them to three if we just, if we just fire it off. And then they're dead. Yeah, so. This seems better. You got it. Probably just the sea level change. It's just climate change. It's true. Yeah, I'm just gonna go phase here. There's nothing they can really do, so. Okay. You know, it's a huge joke, but Al Gore did see it coming.
Yep. Okay. Um, we'll send the thrall back. Six mana is a bit much for a turn one keep. Uh, this is our only blue source, so we'll definitely play Guild Gate of Blue. Blue, Blue Gate. Wait, plays planes. I played Guild Gate. Oh, okay. So, yeah. This is nice because now we can actually play Steam Core Weird next turn and kill this idiot. The best joke, eight true jokes. You know who said that? I don't know, somebody hungry for jokes, I bet. <laughs> Was it also Al Gore? One, two, three, four. Ba -do 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 -do. No blocks. What is this glaring spotlight? What the fuck? No. No, it was me. I'm super profound, if not a great speller. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Hey, that's okay. I accept you for who you are. Yeah, kind of. You know, in a sense. You can feel it all over. Oh, I like it. I like it. Kind of. Maybe I like it. They were on the play, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana next turn. I guess they have missed three land drops, so. Oh, wow, they discarded Leaf Drake Roost. I have to play against two Leaf Drake Roof decks. Roost? God, now he's calling it Leaf Drake Roof. It never ends with this guy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we could just Izzard Cronar get back Mind Rot, that actually seems fine. Oh, what up, Dillon Mace? Oh, 
Oh boy. And we can also get to keep up uh, fused far and away next turn, which is pretty good. I mean, this is a lot of lands we've drawn, all things considered. Oh, I'm sorry, we're boring you, sir. Yeah, a little bit. You guys are being real quiet right now. You guys are giving me nothing. I don't know what their deck is. They've discarded Luminous Bonds, which is good. Monitor, which is good. Oh my god, stop. Lands, please. No, I don't think it's weird that you like Mind Rot. We've played two Mind Rots this game. Put a Tanger Creature blocking so it's Azorius Charm. Or create a 4-4 four, four for 5. The Vigilance... Oh, it does have Vigilance. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll take one. Fuse, bounce you. Make you sack them. One, two, three, four, five. Like that I overpaid there? Me too. Okay. I mean, you still lose a creature that just doesn't get bounced. Sure. Ugh. Five, six, nine, ten, eleven. It's real close. Why didn't I far away a chronicle? Uh, I didn't think of that. Oh wow! What's this? Oh, yeah. I'm a veto that. It's got hexproof. I'm not gonna veto that. This is a one one. Ugh. Sure, make a one one. That's fine. Has like no power. Um. I mean, we're just gonna cross our fingers here and just try to like. Finish the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. So anything at less than six is fine. Yeah, this is Sigma is exciting. This is the song that never ends. Oh, they're attacking with the other one. Sure, I'll take two. Okay, see, now we like his static caster a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh my Christ, this is just so many lands, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands out of... It's just so many lands. Yep. This is actually a pretty good position for them because now they can Karaz the Monitor onto this guy, making it a 4-4. And they get to back for 4-8. 
No, it gets plus four, plus four. So five, ten, fifteen, nineteen. Well, they didn't do that, I guess. All right. Well. I'm just going to pass here. So it's seven? Sure. Yep, this is going very well for them, unfortunately. Yep, they tap both our guys. We can kill this. Uh... Like, they can't tap this down, which is super nice. And we can also block... All their guys die and we get a bunch of guys. Yeah, this is actually pretty good here. I mean, I think if we tap down Beastmaster, we're actually fine. Or kill, rather. Kill with, with the flames. Kill it with the flames. I mean, let's say they don't have an answer for Tesa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this taps it. <laughs> oh, love it. Fucking love it. So two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's that's game. Wow, Pollen Bright Wing is a hell of a drug. Yep, okay. Well, now Wear Tear definitely comes in. So does Overrule, actually. Strands can come out. That's hilarious. Um, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Any red or black source is helpful. We could hit a signet, a bounce land. Come on, we can do it. Okay. Well, seven seven drops pretty sweet. That's kind of what I'm looking for. We do get to overroll for one here if they like tap out. They did not. Come on, land drop. Okay, you know what? Sure. Still still hit lands. Black source or red source. <laughs> oh, 
the old post, the old post overrule disc, uh, land drop. Four four convoke vigilance. That was a good hit. Now all we need is a red or a second black. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Maybe. I mean, it's five cards to five cards. Like... Oh, wow. Are we just gonna win this game? Is that what's happening? Oh, I mean, Ogre Savant bounces our own guy. That's fine. Land? Mind Rot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna Savant here. One, two, three, four, five. Dunzy. How dare you hurt my dragon? Guys, Katie says hello. Only I shall pillory. <laughs> they also have no blue sources, which is weird, because they know they have blue cards in their deck, like Leaf Drake Roost and Yep, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. Okay, I'll do that. I mean, this is five, right? We like, tech for... No. I want to be able to, like, play a land and then Burglar Rat and Hypersonic Dragon in the same turn. This is also nice because you just get Ogre Savant back. Plus, we can block Syndic of Tides. We could have just Mind Rotted them, too, actually. One, two, three. And then we'd have three mana. We can't do anything else, though. Just Mind Rot and take six. Jesus. <sighs> Crying out loud. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep. Must be nice. I wouldn't know personally, but it seems like it should be decently nice, right? Like, oh boy. Well... Where's our removal again? Pollen Bright and a second pillory. Interesting. I probably would have pillory and attacked for a million, but whatever. They don't have any cards left, so. I just want the guy because if we block with this, I want to be able to haunt something. Six, eight. Yep, yeah, that's a big dude. Yeah, I think we're just losing because we just can't hit. Like, they're just, they are just had banger into banger, so. I ranked up a lot with your historical activation deck. Dude, that's awesome to hear. I appreciate that. Attempt to just block here. Also, attempt to just double block, get this off the board. Because if we hit any land, being able to play Tesa here is nice. I think this is actually fine. Um, let's put it on the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get rid of this first, but whether I bounce it or exile it is a lot different than if I just, like, kill this guy. Which is a lot easier. Sure. Yep, this is pretty rough. Really need a land here. Right now we have red, red, seven. Yeah, that's fucking amazing, of course. So we're basically dead unless we hit something off Underworld Connections. That costs two mana. 
Oh, good. We tap. No, fuck it. We're just died. Cool. That's cool. Sweet. Sweet. That was fun. One, two, unfortunately, with a deck that looked pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore if you guys are looking for a sweet VPN. You get 68% off the first two years and also one month free, which is a pretty good deal. And it helps the stream. I get a kickback. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.